Hi folks and welcome back to Old School Customs. Today we are going to go try to find a uh, Indian burial mounds that a guy I met told me about about two weeks ago. And it is relatively close to the Pyramid Mound and the, uh, the Hobbit Mound Hobbit Hollow Mound or whatever that was called and uh, he gave me a general idea where it's at so let's go take a look should get up over this hill here and see Tinker's Creek. And if I find what I'm looking for, I'll put the picture on of the Google Earth I took right here. I think I need to be on this hillside over here. And that's where I'm going to try to make my way over there. Bunch of failed attempts. I finally made it into the woods. It was so thick with prickers. Unbelievable. I'm all cut up. Lots of round stones sitting right here. At the base of this tree. It's a bunch of round stones. Look around a little bit, see what we can find. I just know there's tons of stones. Oh, this is pretty interesting. Just a big cache of rocks right here. whole hillside is, is stones right across the top. Starting right here. And they follow this ridge line, a mountain of a pile of stones. I mean it's flat with the earth now, but there you can see how many there are. Oh, I should have brought a water. There's really something else here. There's just thousands and thousands of stones. They're not over here at all. They're all right on the edge of this cliff here. So far, I was out there by the clearing 
and this whole edge this whole edge is nothing but stones like somebody gathered them all up and put them here seems to be a decent pile right here Back over to the edge. So it's not so much here anymore. Up around this tree. But look what you have here. We have a mound. You see it? the mound right here. That's what he said. It was like two to four feet tall. There was a bunch of them. I don't see any more, but just came across this one. Let's go check it out. I'm going to circle around this a couple times and see if I see any um, type of tooling or artifact or anything. Actually, what's that right there? See that mark on that rock right there? Hmm. circle around this a few times. You know it's possible that when they were putting that golf course in they were pulling rocks and um, debris and dumping it along this ridge. I mean that the golf course has been closed for several years but it was open for a long time. It's possible to look at when the golf course was open. I'm sure they owned this property at one time. A serious cliff over here. Yeah, it goes straight down. It's a sheer cliff. Kind of like on another peninsula here, like on a point. A lot of uh, moss here. This whole point is mossy. <coughs> wow, look at this. Oh, there's more piles of rocks all along those trees right there. Huh. See those piles? All along there, all along there. I'm gonna look at this bank right here. Maybe I'll find a arrowhead or something cool. Where I'm at now, there's a bunch of rocks around the bases of all these big trees. And I went up around, that was that point, and then I followed, and way over there is the clearing I came in. Here's another tree right here with like a bunch of rocks just piled up right at the base. 
none of the rocks like have any uh you know they don't look like anything like a tool or you know maybe they're just putting them there as a uh a token but you think if you're gonna put a token rock it'd be nicer comes down here down here Look at this twisted tree. Twisted. So now I'm on the, the bottom of this plane. I came in over there, up on top, went around, came around this ridge, around this ridge, around this ridge. Still rocks all along the edges here. Look at these two rocks standing right up. Crazy. There's a big old gully right here that got washed out. Mushrooms all over the place. Looking mushrooms. Seem to be a big pile of rocks right here. Maybe there was a tree here and it fell. I mean, look at the size of this tree, it's huge. Like in Sherwood Forest here. Big old pile of rocks. Here's a big pile of rocks too, like it comes all around this big tree. Right there. I mean just in this spot there's got to be a couple, like a thousand rocks right here. ridge line back up to where I came. It seems like there's rock piles at every massive tree. Like here's another big massive tree. Here's a big massive tree. And in every single one there's a uh, an excessive amount of rocks where there isn't everywhere else. I mean, these trees have been here, like this tree right here. It's got to be 40 inches from here to here. And look at... Rocks. Mushrooms. Golf balls. of these two trees right here. Holy moly. That is a big tree. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's pretty cool. Some kind of a, uh, a rock with a circular mark. Inscription. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's right down here. 
in this nook. Big old worm. Hmm. Here is a huge tree that fell that had a rock pile around the base of it. So here's the tree. Here's a rock pile at the base. Tree had have been growing for hundreds of years. I'm not really sure what that is, so I'm going to go take a look. Hmm. It's just like a slippery rock. Oh, he zooms. Sorry, folks. i to zoom all the way in. Boy, that was like it looked a lot different when it was down in that hole. This would be a good place to come back and kind of pick around through. There's like a red. This is definitely a place that I'd like to come back and pick around through, like right here. <coughs> that look like this and it always like gets me like oh is that a some kind of a point but it's not hmm. it's a big tree a lot of vines were on it probably brought it down all right if anything else will be back man look at this tree it's a dueler or three of them coming out of one base. Look at the size of this mammoth. It's a mammoth. Look at the size of this thing. God, it's got to be five feet across at the bottom. It's three massive trunks coming out of one. an impressive tree right there but you know if you seen something in the uh, comments down below what you think if these uh, are burial places with the rocks leave a comment Try to get back to all comments. Another golf ball. So here's where I came in. Came into the uh, woods right here. So I came down this ridge line, went all the way back around down that hill, back up over to the big tree and over here and I got an hour ride home so this is Friday so the story behind this is uh, 
I met this guy. He lives in um, the town here where my I have a house property. <laughs> I stopped at my dad's and he wasn't home. And I pulled out of his driveway and two, three doors down there was a garage sale and I seen welders in the driveway. So I stopped in. They picked up a couple welders for 30 bucks for three Craftsman 220 welders, 230 amp. And the old lady was like more than thrilled to take my 30 bucks. And then this dude pulled in and it was her son. And uh, I said something about uh, he knew my brother. He asked me where I'm from, and I told him my hometown. He said he probably graduated with his ex-wife, and so anyway, long story short, we got to talking, and I said something about I was passing through because that was the day I think I filmed the pyramid mound, and I asked him if he knew about it. He was about my age, and uh, he's like his grandpa brought him here when he was little and um, he said he was back there messing around as a young kid and the people from the golf course had park rangers come out and like kick him out and the photo he showed me on a map I think that's it that's where I just was right there here's the golf course that's been turned into like one of those frisbee golf things so, I'm going to go home and I'm going to look at Google Earth and maybe give this another try. I didn't wear long pants again because I'm coming from work and my legs are shredded. Just shredded. I'm bleeding in multiple places. All for your viewing pleasure. So... Alright folks, thank you for watching Old School Customs. Leave a comment, subscribe, hit the like button, and have a good day!